Well, with only a few days left until the start of early voting in Virginia's high-stakes election, Republicans and Democrats are making one last push to encourage early and absentee voting in the Commonwealth. Every seat in both the House and delegates and state Senate are up for grabs this fall. A total of 140 General Assembly seats. Well, this week, the parties and candidates are hosting multiple events across Virginia ahead of the first day of early voting this Friday, September 22nd. And joining us to discuss, Republican Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, Winsome Sears. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, great to have you with us. Uh, lots of buzz here, of course, about this early voting, and it has traditionally been more popular among Democrats, however. But how are you going to get Republicans out early? By doing exactly what we're doing today and knocking on doors and going to the state fair and mailing to the voters to say and calling them to say, you have got to make sure that you are participate in early voting. We need you there because we cannot change things unless you vote. You know, we've identified over 500,000 Republican voters who did not vote last year, but voted for us in the prior year. So we could have had a different congressional makeup. And that's because these voters don't come out unless it's a presidential year or it's a gubernatorial year. And we can't afford that anymore because we've got to make sure that we have the, the tax money that they give us uh, more permanent. We've got to make sure that parents have school choice. We've got to make sure that parents understand that they are still in charge. It's not the government. We've got so much to do. We've got to get us out of California's uh, car emissions codes and votes and whatever. We just have work to do. So we need people to go out to secureyourvotevirginia.com and get signed up for an absentee ballot or early voting begins Friday. Go out Friday and start voting. Lieutenant Governor, I've spoken with some Republicans who seem to think that maybe the difference in the 2020 election was the fact that Democrats largely, they voted early mm -hmm. and they did it often for, for many months here. Do you, do you agree with that? And do you want to stress again the importance for, for the Republicans here in this early voting process? Well, absolutely. I mean, if the, the voting starts 45 days before an election, and one company has a piece of the pie for 45 straight days, whereas the other company only takes advantage on one day, who do you think is most likely to win? So, folks, I have signed up for an absentee ballot. My absentee ballot will be soon at my home, and I will have it for 45 days. All I have to do is fill in that little oval. But you don't, if you don't, you know, consider the absentee ballot uh, something you want to do, you can still go down on Friday and begin to vote. You can go to the local registrar. Now, I know there's been pushback about, well, you know, they're not thinking that it will be secure. No, no, it is secure because I can give you some real numbers. And let me just read this real quick for you. 260,653 voters we've discovered in Virginia have moved. And according to the National Registration Act, voter registration, we have moved them off. So we have 77,348 we found were deceased. We've taken care of those voters as well. Additionally, we went all the way back to even 1960 and found 18,990 vote, votes voters who were deceased. So we are doing everything we can. Don't assume that it's, it's not going to be good. Go and vote. It's our right and we cannot waste it. Yeah, Lieutenant Governor, what do you find that your constituents are most concerned about? What do you think is that issue or those two issues that are really going to drive them to get out and vote? Well, what we are finding is really the same thing that got us elected. And by the way, in Virginia, we could not have won had we not been able to convince enough Democrats and independents to come and vote for us because we are the ones with the sensible ideas, common sense, and the ones who are not going to separate parents from their children. Because you saw we had mask mandates, we had uh, rogue school boards, and even still, it's still happening because you saw where some schools did not even notify the children that they were national merit scholars and could apply and do so. Look, we have got to understand that 
elections have consequences and we cannot sit on the sidelines and expect change to happen if we don't change the way that we vote. The other side has figured it out. The rules have changed and we've got to change with the times. That's really what there is. Lieutenant Governor, last question here real quick. we got a couple more seconds. I think your state, you, Governor Yunkin, you have been so arduent in your support for parental rights. Virginia law, a, par a parent has fundamental rights to make decisions concerning the upbringing, education, and care of a parent's child. Stress why that is so important for us. First of all, isn't it ridiculous that you have to put it in a law so that yes. the government understands that parents are always in charge of their child's education and future and all of that, but yet and still we did it. We did it because we understand that some folks uh, just want to have control of everything. So it's there. And then courts have also decided that according to the 14th Amendment especially, that parents, yes, we do have a right to raise our children mm -hmm. in the way that we see fit. So this is part of the issue, again, that we're trying to bring up. We need to make sure we get to the polls. You saw what happened with Scott Smith, a parent whose daughter was raped because mm -hmm. of policies that were adopted by the previous administration. So this is what absolute power has done, and we want to change that. So we've got to win. We've got to hold uh, our House, and we've got to pick up seats in our Senate. We can do that. We, the people, people say you're in politics. No, mm -hmm. we're all in politics. That part about of the people, by the people, and for the people. Well, this is a technical term in the South. Y'all are the people. <laughs> I like what I you did it. there. I like what you did there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Continuing that fight, Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears, thank you so much for joining us down there from Virginia. Thank you. Okay.